Hey, what's up? Andrew Kramer here, and in this tutorial, we're gonna be creating the blowback from a gun that doesn't actually have any blowback. So basically, we create this effect. Might be hard to see in the uh, screen capture, so I'll just kind of go through it frame by frame. Muzzle flash. Now, one of my favorite parts about this is the fact that our actor gives us a sound effect. If you see his mouth there, kind of creates the sound effect. And I thought about this, and it is, in fact, very difficult to pretend to fire a gun that doesn't make a noise. You really feel the need to add that sound effect in. So, you know, I can't really blame the guy. And he did it for free, so, you know, what are you going to do? With that aside, however, let's go ahead and get started. First thing we need to do, find the point in time where the blowback would occur. So just about right here. Then we're going to take this footage and duplicate it. Edit, duplicate. Then what we need to do, zoom into the gun, take the pen tool, and draw a pen shape around the top part of the gun. So pretty much here. That looks pretty good. Then we want to shrink the piece of footage down to last only one frame. Then what we want to do is take this, we can also toggle the mask on and off, and animate it going back. So feel free to uh, use your imagination there. Now once you have it in place, we want to add a blur to it, because this is happening very, very quickly. So choose effect, blur directional blur. Get the angle to be about the angle you see here and add the blur. Now you can see our our angle is off just a little bit so just want to get it to be just right and you want the blur to also be just right. And just for the sake of this tutorial let's make it kinda really go back. Now, in real life, when this happens, the barrel of the gun is actually revealed underneath the slide. So what we need to do is kind of fake what you might see if the slide was uh, back like it is here. So what we want to do is find out what the background would look like if the gun were gone. So, oh, oh, look at this. We have a clean plate, as it's called. And what I'm going to do is duplicate this footage at this point in time shrink it down to being one frame long, bring it up to this point in time. What we basically want to do is lower the opacity of our clean plate so we can see underneath it. So underneath it is this. Then we want to line the footage up to match with the background and we can do that by changing the transfer mode to difference and with the opacity all the way up you basically use the uh, keypad to position the footage to basically get it all black. Once it's black, essentially it should be pretty lined up. And uh, it's pretty rough right now, but that'll actually do the trick. So now that we have this in place, let's turn the opacity down just a little bit. Then with the pen tool, we want to go in here and as you can see, the actual gun is kind of hiding there in the background. So what we want to do is basically pretend to draw an outline around what would be taken away if the slide were actually back. So let's just kind of draw in here a barrel. The slide rail. And basically a little bit of this background. Then we turn the opacity of the clean plate back up. And now we're in business. So go ahead and just kind of fix it so it looks like a gun that could actually work. You can also go into the mask and feather it so it matches with the rest of the composite. I just did a 0.5 and also I'll do a, a 0.5 uh, feather on the slide also. So there we have it. 
our gun kind of kicks back there. Looks like our slide needs to go back a little bit more. And it's only there for one frame, so it's as if it animates back afterwards. Isn't that something? I think it is. Um, looks like our barrel is a little long here, so let's shrink that down just a little bit. Okay, so now the next thing we want to do is take our muzzle flash, our 9mm muzzle flash from the Action Movie Essentials collection. Drag it out. Line it up. And in this case, it's backwards, so we can just flip it by uh, changing it to negative 100. Rotate it so it lines up with the gun. So there you have it. Looking pretty good. Um, add your Film Magic Pro favorite preset, and uh, you're all set doing shots just like this. Anyway, I hope you found this tutorial useful. Um, the muzzle flash is from Action Movie Essentials, and you can find that at videocopilot.net. Again, my name's Andrew Kramer, and uh, thanks for watching.